help but love a nice, creamy cheese. Working on my night cheese. But would you be willing to try the world's most dangerous cheese? Challenge accepted. Queso marzu is a delicacy from Sardinia, similar to pecorino cheese. But it's illegal. Hmm, intriguing. How is this cheese made? And what does its existence have to do with the cheese skipper fly? Regional distinction, a secret resistance, and maggots. Keep watching as we spread the facts about this forbidden delicacy. It's not unusual for cheeses to be allowed to decay during the aging process. It's been 84 years. After all, mold plays a big part in the distinctive flavors of brie, gorgonzola, and blue cheese. But in the case of queso marzu, the decay takes a different form. Queso marzu has been made in Sardinia for hundreds of years and can be traced back to the Roman Empire. For the poor, any food was welcome, even if that meant eating food that had gone bad. It's believed that's how queso marzu developed. Queso marzu means rotten cheese in Sardinian. As the cheese ages and reaches a point of near decomposition, the cheese maker will cut holes into the cheese. This allows cheese skipper flies to lay their eggs in the cheese. Oh my God! That's right, the cheese makers deliberately allow flies to lay eggs in the cheese. Oh my God! Within weeks, the wheel of cheese is infested with maggots. They eat the rotting cheese and release enzymes that break down the lipids and proteins. Cheese? This makes the cheese creamy and gives it a strong flavor. But you wouldn't eat the cheese with the maggots still in it, would you? Well, sure, why not? Fans and the curious usually eat the cheese straight out of the wheel, with the maggots still wriggling away. Yummy! You might want to wear protective eyewear, though. The maggots can jump pretty high. If that doesn't sound appetizing, you can spin the cheese and allow the centrifugal force to mash the maggots and cheese together into a nice, creamy paste. Slimy yet satisfying. Queso marzu became illegal in 1962 when Italy passed new national food safety regulations. But in 2007, the cheese was declared a traditional food by the Sardinian government, giving it protected status. Italy followed suit in 2015. Despite this, queso marzu is illegal under European Union law. Anyone caught producing or distributing it could face hefty fines and jail time. This has not stopped Sardinians from producing this cheese. Many of them consider it part of their culture. It also has a political significance as part of Sardinia's independent identity, separate from the rest of Italy. There's even a black market for the distribution of queso marzu. Now you speak in my language. To find it, you need to know a guy who knows a guy. But what is the appeal of a cheese infested with live maggots? And yes, you want the larvae to be alive. If they're dead, that's a sure sign the cheese has gone bad. Really, really bad much worse than if they were still alive. Sorry, stomach. For some people, the strong flavor that can linger for hours and the creamy texture are reasons to eat queso marzu. The illegal and dangerous nature of the food makes other people want to eat it. In 2009, the Guinness Book of World Records named it the world's most dangerous cheese. But what makes it so dangerous? The cheese skipper flies could contaminate the cheese with salmonella bacteria. The flies also produce compounds that could be toxic in high doses. And if the maggots are still alive when they reach someone's intestines, they could lead to intestinal miasis, or small tears in the intestines. Symptoms include abdominal pain, vomiting, and severe maggot-infested diarrhea. You okay? Still, queso marzu is considered an aphrodisiac. I guess that's one way of getting someone to buy rotting maggot-infested cheese. Where do I get it? Now that we've survived the world's most dangerous cheese, let's follow it up with the most dangerous fruit. We'll bite into that on another episode of The Origins of Food.